What is up everyone, it's Special Games 75 here today. Today we're playing Yumi and Her episode 16, and this is a part three follow-up to Route 5 on a Yoi Route 1. So yeah, let's get started since we're already back. Alright, since this is the great stuff, I'm just gonna skip it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Transmitting to a god beyond the furthest reaches of the our world. Yeah, she's still talking to God, but she hasn't really I mean he hasn't really responded to her calls. But that was the last time I saw Yoi before she disappeared, seriously. All she left behind was a single kitten. It was just so sudden. Yeah, that's pretty much it. From what she left away. Yeah. Pretty much, Miyuki's mother to herself. Just what I thought we all patched things up to. Why would Yoi go like this? Of course not. I don't have the first clue. Alright, now we skip. If you guys want to like, read all the rest, then just check, my, check out my previous videos on this game. Hey, Eru. I'll get used to it eventually, right? But Ayoi's kitten just quietly laps up his milk. Okay, that's too much. The sound of this. This is literally a part 3 follow-up to... Route 1 of a Yoi, which is the main Route 5 to this. That was Route number 5. But for Yoi, it's Route 1. Okay, now we skip. Back. Okay, now right here, we are going to search for my dreams. Let's search for your dreams. Guitar was willing to cut ties with me over this. I've been turning a blind eye for it. A while now, but I know I can't just sit on my ass. I'm gonna look for Yoi. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you tell her the letter of expulsion. Huh? Are you coming with me? Let's go! <laughs> All right, see you then. Yes, finally. We exchange a firm handshake. Meanwhile, uh oh. What? What? Miyuki glares sadly at us from across the room. <laughs> oh, she's pissed. Let's go. Apparently, Yutar decided to change clothes for this. Roman. Yes. Guess he wants to wear his enthusiasm on his sleeve. Literally. Literally. So what's the plan? We find we should should find figure we should figure something out. Ugh. Huh? You are the champion of winging it, and wing it we do. And at some point during the search, he gets distracted by a pretty girl on the street, decides to follow her. Then we take a break, hanging out at the batty cages. Then we get chased by a random street dog. Then we, then when we went, ugh, then when we tried to ask around about Yoi, people were, were hitting on them. I think we're hitting on them. Then the older lady at the tobacco shop bats her lashes at us. Then we follow our dreams all the way to the adult store. And that was it for the ending. But there's gotta be something. Is any of this really going to help us find her? Ah, What? Wait, what? Uh, of course not. Uh, damn. This is like actually a hard one. Yep, I actually felt that. We spent every day after just that, just wandering around the town. Every day we brainstormed places that Yogi might go. Every day I wonder to myself, where are you right now? What are you doing? What are you thinking about? She was spending her nights at a mega cafe, but she never explained why she refused to go home. She was avoiding her parents. But she never told me why they ever made her life so hard. 
She would typically never let her emotions show. But I never knew what made her, her hide them. Like seriously, what what really made her hide them? She often makes up the fiction with reality, but I could never be sure if she was serious. She believed that God made our world as a video game, but I don't know what led her to that conclusion in the first place. And now that she's gone, I finally realized just how little I ever really knew about her. Hey, you, you, you're a trans receiver cat, right? Yeah. I mean, of course, which means you can sense AOA signal, right? Could you take me to her? But Eru ignores me. I can't pick up signals on my own, and I can't get through to her f over the phone. All I could do is search for her the only way I know. How? As I stand up at the sky, I think back to the things she fixated on when we visit Catnip. The way she licked her ice cream from Kurakami Electronics. How she used to open her potato chips bags. The flavors she liked best. The path she, ch she chose on the way to, go to the corner store. The way she acted any time we spotted a dog. Which side of the sidewalk she chooses? The way she walked down the stairs, the way she carried her book bag, which shoe she would put on first, the way she'd look at me, the way she'd look at me and Miyuki, every slight moment, every breath, they always rush vividly to the forefront of my mind. These memories are also important to me, and I refuse to let them go. Yeah. <laughs> He Taro leans against the vending machine as he talks. For all of his obnoxious behavior, down deep down, he really does care. Thanks for spending your weekend helping me with this. After all that walking, I fig I think I figured out how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Evangelist. Okay. Evangelist. Yeah. I'm not gonna call you that. Oh, sorry. One sec. I pull up my phone. There's an email from Yuki in my inbox. It reads Are you busy later? I need to talk to you. Please come by at the banding cage tonight. It's important. Sheesh. Alright, now we skip. The golem hits. Ha. Huh. I just heard something. A very familiar meow. Hastily, I look over at the direction of the sound. Eru. Sure enough, it's Aoi's kid meowing from under the bench. How did you get from my get here from my house, you little furball? He wanted to follow you or something. Yoi had, had called her a trans receiver cat. Jared maybe has just one of her delusions. But that very kitten somehow escaped the confines of my house and traveled all this way just to find me? Er. Before I could take a single step, Miyuki calls out for me. Her voice is shaking, her hands balled into fists. No, wait, what? I don't even know. We're not gonna leave her. So, I mean, it's not gonna be a good idea. But the thing is that we must chase after Uru, guys. Chase after Uru. We're sorry, Miyuki, but we gotta go. There's no guarantee Uru will actually take me to Yoi. It's still not worth abandoning Miyuki over it. Therefore, absolutely no logical reason why I should follow Uru. I know that, and yet. I have to go. I have to sell this once and for all. Miyuki takes a single s deep breath, filing, filling her lungs completely, and exhales slowly. What? <laughs> she nods reluctantly. Alright, see you then. S 
As I take off running, Miyuki calls out for me. So oh, she'd be waiting. I find Eru sitting outside the entrance to the building. I'm genuinely impressed the little furball made it all the way here on those tiny legs. As I scoop up the kid into my arms, his wish could perk up. It was calling. Is it she? Come on, let me guess. This is why? Eru may have some response as though he understands my question. My feet carry me forward unwavering. I haven't seen Yoi for days now. Something my transmission just couldn't get through to hers. Our connection is tennis at its best, but at least it's there. Is this fate or... Is she here? The answer is obvious. After all, the passenger gate is unlocked. And she's the only one who knows how to pick it up. And as on that one fateful day, surely enough, the roof is unlocked too. What does that lead us to now? Oh boy. Arrow darts forward. This is my first time seeing the roof of that night. For a moment, the nightscape takes my breath away. Upon the first glance, the roof is deserted. But I know if I turn around, I'll find nothing. Huh? Ayo hey, isn't on top of the roof either. She's not here. She was supposed to be here. Ayo hey, used to spend the, every day up there staring up into the sky. She always do this, guys. She stick her broken phone straight into the air and call God, but she's nowhere to be found. Yeah. Air looks at the ladder and meows as if to push me forward, but no matter how hard I look at it, I. The hell? Mayoi? Hey, yo, yo, are you there? I pick up this hair signal ever so faintly. Actually, I bolt up the ladder. The heck? She's just lying there. Whoa, Yoi. There she is, sprawl out on the roof of the top, on the top of the roof. Yoi, hey. I put her into my arms. She's freezing cold. She's not breathing. Her eyes are closed. So who was dialing just now? On her phone. Aoi's smartphone is lying on the ground besides her. I can see the video game version of Aoi on screen. Hey Aoi, Aoi, what's wrong? Answer me. Just want to finally find out. You finally found you. God damn it! I have to do something. But what? I don't even know what to do. Okay, for now for this one. We're gonna have to mouth to mouth rest. She's not breathing. I never took any first aid training, so I'm basically just winging it, but. Ha! I take a brief breath in. And press my lips to hers. A spark of electricity shoots through me. Praying for a miracle, I blow my lung full of air into her. Ha! Oh my gosh. Please wake up, Ayoi, please. There's something I haven't told you yet. I don't want it to end like this. Ha! <sighs> <sighs> hmm? 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 Nan na to? Nani? I feel something move against my lips. Ayoi blinks her eyes. Falling her chest begins to rise and fall once more! <laughs> oh man. What the hell? Hey, oh, it's me. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, it's me, Shinji. I pick up the transmission. Arrow me also to the in her ear. Apparently so. Oh, 
What do you mean? Oh, I see. I'm glad she's conscious, but it's too early to relax just yet. I take out my phone. What do, what do you mean? There's no point. Ah, uh, there's no way we could just literally keep it like this. So, so for now, so now at this point, we literally have no choice. Just talk to her, guys. We gotta just talk to her. All right. If that's what she wants, I won't say no. I have this feeling like if I don't give her what she wants, she's going to vanish off into some distant world. Oh, Zappy. Why the Zappy stuff? Yeah, I bet. Feel free to recharge as much as you like. Oh my gosh, why? Ah. Oh. Surely enough, the, m the more we talk, the more he always seems to recover. It's almost like she's actually recharging her batteries. Hey, can I ask you something? Why did you ghost us like that? Conflicted, I always stares up at the sky. Stars twinkle, aim at the sea of darkness, and here we are at the center of the universe. No, it's not. What bug? That's the reason? With no explanation, no goodbye? Well, sorry, but I won't. You tell her and I searched the whole damn city for you. There's something I really needed to get off my chest. All the tad time I spent running around town, I kept asking myself, why am I looking for her? And once I found her, what was it I wanted to say? As it turned out, I wanted to talk about... Ayoi herself. Ayoi, there's something I wanted to tell you. I lean back, the starry night sky fills my vision, and with the lights of the town below, it's hard to tell up from down. It's almost like we're, we're suspended weightless in space. I really like the time we spent together as a trio. Then, then, the night you crashed at my place, suddenly everything was up close and personal and I panicked. I was scared I was going to destroy our friendship, which is why I said you'd never be anything more than a friend to me. In sight, in hindsight, that was really a dumb thing to say. I'm really, really sorry. It was totally bullshit anyway. I've done a lot of thinking and... Anyway, you're not just a friend to... The war pierces my heart. What? Was your smile a glitch too? What about your happiness? What was that all just another glitch? And your sadness and your tears? You fell in love, pushed us away, and suffered in solitude. Are those emotions all errors and glitches too? I'm not a god. I'm not perfect. Fuck that. Laughter, tears, sadness, joy, love, and hate. I want to feel all these things, and I want you right there with me. Over the course of searching for Yoi, I finally figure out how I really feel. I've been dying to tell her all this time. This is the whole reason I came for her, came to find her. I don't care if I can't be with Miyuki. I just want to be with... She drops the mid-sentence. Uh. <laughs> Ouch! What the hell? Aoi shows me down. Aoi? What are you doing? 
A zappy? What? I'm not interested in... Wow. Wait, what? Barge, you feeling sick? We shouldn't... As she whispers, her lips twitch instantly. A sudden surge of emotion takes me. I want to show her how I feel about her. I want to kiss her. A real kiss this time, not just CPR. Yo, you... I shut up and face her. I'm in love with you. Nobody else matters to me. I choose you, Yoi. All at once, her face crumples and her emotions come flooding out. Oh no. Are you sure? Wait, what? Oh. Yes. yes. This game. Oh, and yeah, it actually happened. It's hard to just shoot through us as our fun lips touch. Because he's Sonico. Well, there goes that, but I mean, there's still more. Pale light shines down on us from the heavens, blessing our union. We cuddle and gaze up at the sky. I can feel her warmth against my body. She's so small and precious. I just want her, I just want to hold her and put her, like, Always, but Miyuki. So this missing. We have to connect it physically, but there's still a long way to go. Her gaze is so distant. I have, I have wonder if she's looking at something on the other side of the universe. All that time I spent searching for you, I was thinking, I never knew the first thing about you. Your likes, your dislikes, things you like about the video game you play, the guy and the guy you believe in. Yes. Hey, looks back at the back up at the sky. Her gaze wanders, like she's looking in the world. I can't see a world beyond the stars. You tell me, you won't you? Her voice is tiny and faint, and she doesn't meet my gaze. <laughs> oh boy, there's still more to this. Next morning. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I guess I did. Oh, Aoi walks right up to you, Taro, and stares him in the eye.
<laughs> bro, look at his face, bro. His expressions. He tries like one look at it. I her smile and freeze on the spot. Oh, somebody's embarrassed. <laughs> God, I hope not. Yep, I sure did. English, please. Okay, look. Hey, wait, where, where are you? Eavesdropping us? <laughs> hey. <sighs> Pretty sure she was just sneezy, right? Oh, 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 no, the door opens and Miyuki walks into the classroom for fun. Her usual good morning is noticeably absent. Instead, she walks straight over to us, her lips pursued. Oh, she's pissed. The blood drains from Yoi's face. This is the first time I've ever seen each other in quite some time. And Yoi knows Miyuki wasn't happy about her little ghosting act. Oh no, please, I'm sorry Miyuki, I hurt me. Miyuki ignores the Yoya and calls out to me instead. Uh, okay. Oh, but, but. Uh, okay. With that, the Queen Bee summons me to the classroom. Class, nobody writes in front of everyone. And suddenly the whole room buzzes with curiosity at this unexpected plot twist. Okay. Alright, alright, already. Shit. I'll be back. I'll go talk to her. You, you, you wait here, okay? Oh crap, what are we gonna do now? Talk to you and then turn to leave the classroom with Mayuki. Alright, now let's skip. Ah, uh, should I? I'm sorry. Oh yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Everything happened so suddenly that night, I totally forgot. Before I left Miyuki behind at the dedicated, she said... Oh, now I remember. I'm sorry. Miyuki tightened her grip on her baseball bat. Uh, uh, what's this point that I look in my face? <laughs> um, Miki, look, I, I offer her a smile. She doesn't return it, not even slightly. The bat travels with her hand. Go oh, her fuck. Oh, no, this is, this is not good. It's like, it's like Doki Doki Literature Club. And the memory flashes through my mind. The room of a student Miki suddenly beat to a bloody pulp. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, okay, uh, let's see, uh, first I, uh, I found a Yui on the school roof, and, uh, I, I, look, look, it was on the roof, okay, but it wasn't like that, her, her expression was stiff and, oh, fuck. Uh, uh, shit. No, 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 this can't be, well, no, uh, fuck. Oh, shit, um, I, I didn't know, I, I just finally remember today, please. No, please. I, I, I. Shit. Crap. Uh. Uh. Fuck. She's right. I did. And I'll have to tell her everything away if I want them to patch up their friendship. So I might as well just tell her sooner rather than later. I take a deep breath. <gasps> Here I go. I'm going to tell her the whole truth. I confess my feelings to a Yoi. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> what? She was just eavesdropping, okay? Alright then, if for a penny in a pound, and for a pound, we kiss! She's off the bat. Oh fuck! Fuck! Sparks fly behind my eyelids. For a second, I have no idea what just happened. Then belatedly, the pain of the of the blow kicks in. Oh, I get it! Miyuki slapped me! Wait, what the? What did she slap me for? I only told her we fell in love with Yoi, but well then, that was... And oh, the, the fact that we get <laughs> just those two things, nothing more. So why the hell is she mad? Hey, wait, 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 wait! Before I can proceed, process it. Miyuki starts to walk off. I'm really sorry for forgetting about you, okay? But I, I didn't, no, I didn't give you the rights to hit me. First, you dragged me here, then you hit me for no reason, and now you think you can just walk off, no explanation? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. She rolls around in anger, plain to see her on the face. And yet, for some reason, I, her eyes are swimming with tears. She storms off like a great schooler throwing a tantrum. Her nasty footsteps fade to gem. Meanwhile, all I can do is watch her go. That sucks pretty badly. I don't even know what I. Ah, all because we just did that. Alright, now let's skip. Oh, uh, I finally always stare at me. Fuck, damn it! Shit, well, it's all bad now, so, uh... Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah, it's not pretty good. Is it good? Then why you keep drinking it, then? She... She sets her empty can on the ground. No surprises there. Here we meet us in agreement while batting around a small rubber ball. This is our first lunch without Miyuki. Naturally, that means no fancy homemade lunch either. We pull together the junk food we scored off from the corner store and cafeteria and then start chowing down. It sucks. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I didn't realize until later that Miyuki left a big red pamper on, on my face for everyone to see. The current popular theory among our classmates is that I must have tried to fill her up. And that consequently got my ass kicked. Much as I wanted to set the worker straight, Nikki hasn't been back to class since. So with no opportunity to defend myself, I bolted straight out of the classroom as soon as the lunch bell rang. I wonder where Miyuki ran off to. Then she suddenly stands up. She lifts herself into the air. Okay, that's too much. Yeah. Still no service? <sighs> she starts to try to once more. Maybe just her way of praying. Hey, she was always obstructized by our classes. She spent every night sleeping in the manga cafe. She couldn't fit in with the real world, so she needed a word, world of her own. What the hell? I'm trying to say word. She needed a god to make her reality into a video game. Can her god still save her, or will her prayers go unanswered? Uh-oh. Dag? Oh no. Shit! Ah? Uh? Fuck. Or we're not just seeing things, are we? No, I mean... Of course not, we're, we're, we're waiting for you! Oh yes! Let's go! Yes, please, how about a Yoi? Aren't you hungry? Come. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yoi, hey! Yoi tries to run, but Miyuki stops her.
Yeah, it's pretty painful to see, but... Oh shit! Oh! Whoa! That's sudden! Muki! Oh. Oh, but... Okay. It's over, friends. Yeah. More better than Gerard Avenue. Well, pff, fuck. Why am, I, why am I saying Gerard Avenue for? Okay. I mean, she's not lying. She was a box list with. Good God, was that four tears? You went home for this? Hi. She grins, but she obviously the sort of grin she ordinarily let show in the class. Oh man. Yeah, sure it is. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And I gotta end the video here, guys. So, thank you everyone for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to share this video as well with your friends, family, and whoever. And stay tuned.